said, the United States played a vital role in the 70 years since World War II as a kind of world policeman, although I prefer the term umpire, and, uh, and has done so very successfully, and has done this for essentially two reasons. The first reason is that, is that there was a crying need at the time. There was a new world system democratically established that was under pressure and that was untested. Uh, at the time, there were all the other great powers, China, Japan, Germany, Britain, France, had been devastated by six years of war. There was no other country that could stand up to, to assist with this system and its defense. America was not only the only country that could physically do so, but we had had 200 years of experience doing just that. The U.S. federal government was designed by James Madison and Alexander Hamilton and George Washington to act, as they said, as an umpire between sovereign states, to take down tariff walls, to enforce common rules, to prevent wars between sovereign states. And it did so very successfully. So when the moment came, the United States really did jump in to the rescue, more or less, in 1947, so that this new structure of world order wouldn't topple before it had a chance to sink roots. Now, historically, for the United States, this was a huge deviation from a pattern of 150 years of neutrality and non-intervention that defined our first 150 years, and that allowed the United States to become the kind of prosperous, democratic country that, uh, over time, others wanted to emulate because they saw how well this system worked. Well, today, 70 years later, the picture is very different. Countries of, Euro of Eurasia, Europe and Asia, which are the areas most prone to war historically, are mostly prosperous and strong. The majority are democracies. Yet the U.S. continues in an emergency role that has come to seem like our permanent role, but doesn't have to be, a role we undertook in 1947. What's the consequence? In a word, dependency. Others do not undertake the hard work that they need to do, that they know we will do or try to do for them. So the time has come to think big, to think historically, to plan boldly for where we want to be in 70 years. Any system that rests on one pillar, largely, isn't stable. We need to hand back to other countries and cultivate in them the self-reliance that is the only sure road to prosperity, success, and self-respect.